Hello, I am Unstoppable Tracy with the Disability Channel and your TV with the Today Show in Halton. I am over the moon to be introducing a phenomenal friend and a mentor and a parasport guru, Paralympic star Kevin Rempel, team builder extraordinaire, huge, huge motivational inspiring move your teams into action Kevin Rempel so instead of going on and bragging about him I'm going to go to a short break and you be sure to stay tuned so you yourself can befriend and meet Kevin Rempel we'll be back right after these messages with your today show on your TV Halton region Kevin Rempel and unstoppable Tracy Are you currently on the Ontario Disability Support Program? If you're interested in social media marketing, TV production, podcasting, and or get an office assistance, contact Jay Stoyan at 647-339-6847 or jay at the disabilitychannel.ca. The Disability Channel, showcasing abilities. I'm Zach Damon, host of the Disability Channel, Detroit. Please join us at the Disability Channel and watch the Disability Channel Detroit for all your Michigan disability information. Hello, Kevin Rempel! It is wonderful. Oh, (laughs) I thought that was my cue to be pumped through. I love it. You are cute to be pumped because you are always pumped. I said your name and you are on and we are unstoppable today on your TV, the Halton region on the disability channel. And I'm so excited to be seeing you face to face. Me too. It's been a while and uh, I always admire everything that you, uh, all the messages you share and everything you do as well. So super, super excited to be back here with you. We are some pretty kindred spirits. Absolutely. That's what the world needs. It's true. You know, and, and you and I are kind of some of the, the early trendsetters of sorts in the parasport world, getting out into the Paralympic trials. And, and now the game is just getting higher and higher performance out there. And before we started recording, you mentioned that there's an article out there about the importance of parasport and the difference it makes. Yeah, I mean, the narrative has to continue that we need more coverage consistently, like many social causes and, and um, things of, those, of that nature. But uh, the world of people with disabilities is exciting. Uh, the more that we do get coverage, the more people get um, inspired by what's possible. And I think that one of the things that's important to mention is not just because someone has a disability they're inspiring, but to understand how they think and why they think a certain way and realize that each one of us, no matter whether we have a disability or not, can all choose that same mindset that helps us become what I like to say a hero in our own movie. Yeah, yeah, I love that. The hero in your own movie. And you know, uh, way back in 2015, during the Toronto Pan Am Para Pan Am Games, when they were here and 11 of the Paralympic trials, they were qualifiers for the Paralympics for Rio. And we had to pay for all media coverage in order to get any media coverage for those Paralympic trials and those Pan Am, Para Pan Am games, unlike all of the other sports. And now what we're seeing for 2020 and beyond is that level of, as you say, hero of your own movie is completely transferable. And you are this leadership guru over time because of being a high performance athlete. But let's let's take our listeners back in time to what got you to be a high performance athlete. You've got quite a life journey. So will you sort of start us off at the beginning of what led you to where you are today? Yeah, I can provide, I I give what I say, like the Coles notes or the elevator speech, not to try and make (laughs) it sound like that, but uh, to kind of wrap it all in a nutshell, uh, most people know me today as a Paralympian and sled hockey. And uh, if you have never seen sled hockey before, it's where you play hockey sitting down and you pull yourself around using your arms. Next question is, if you could see me, it's like, I'm, I'm walking, but why are you in Paris sport if you're walking? 
what happened was uh, today I'm 39, but when I was 23 years old, I broke my back riding my dirt bike, rode freestyle motocross and was paralyzed and uh, was never supposed to walk again. So luckily I didn't sever my spinal cord. Clearly, um, as you can see, I've got back on my feet. Uh, but from that spinal cord injury, uh, I can't stand up and skate, run or jump very well at all. So that's what got me down into the world of parasport. And I played hockey as a kid a bit, um, wasn't very good at it, but sledge hockey gave me a new opportunity to give it a shot. And yeah, once I discovered that, uh, I didn't even know the Paralympics existed yeah. for two years after my whole life and for two years after my accident, I didn't even know the para sport existed, which I think is even more reason to that testament of why we need to keep putting para sport and people with disabilities out there so that, you know, imagine how many people could find a new um, reason, new purpose, something to look forward to after acquiring a disability if they weren't born with it. Um, that's the power of Parasport is it gave me something to look forward to. And uh, of course the community, health and wellness and uh, a, a fun ride that ended up putting me on the stage to share my story with others. Oh my gosh. Uh, and same story here. I Most of my life, I was 40 before I even found out there was Paralympic sailing. And had been a sailor all my life and what a difference it would make uh, for all of us to be out there so two years of your recovery at 23 but you know one of my highlights of what you just shared was that you were an adventurer right you're, you're a dirt biker even before your injury and often a lot of the folks that i meet that acquire a disability are adventurers and that it was through adventure that they ended up acquiring that disability and and that your journey didn't stop there it was a lot of emotional breakthroughs and there were plenty of roadblocks and there were some real crushing realities that has led you to yes being a high performance sledge hockey superstar but you're also today you support people through their own breakthroughs in corporations and in sport and in everyday life and in this pandemic and and so what was some of the insights on your journey that has you so powerful, not only in your physical prowess and your adventurous spirit, but in your mindset? So here's what I'd like to share with everyone who's watching today. My, you heard a bit about my story. Uh, and what I speak on is what I like to call the hero mindset. Yeah. So two, two things. First, a bit more of the backstory. Uh, the kicker to my story is not just was I paralyzed, but my dad was paralyzed also in a hunting accident four years before I was. Oh. So my mom had both husband and son, both in wheelchairs with spinal cord injuries at the exact same time. Oh, what are the chances? Now, my dad, unfortunately, couldn't deal with his, his disability. Long story short, he ended up taking his own life. Oh, Kevin, I'm sorry. It's, thank you. And it's unfortunate that it happened, but I also know that a lot of positives came from that. Yes. So that's the context. Now the hero mindset, what I'd like to share with everyone watching and listening today, I speak on what I call the hero mindset because I came home from the Paralympics and people would call me a hero. And I used to get almost frustrated thinking I'm not a hero. I'm just like you. So I want to, I started to think about how can I demystify what is a hero? I looked up the definition and it's described as a person who's either admired or idealized for courage, outstanding achievements or noble qualities. Poof. And so the lesson here, one is that we don't need to be an athlete, a veteran, a police officer. We can just be ourselves and each of us can exemplify those qualities in our day to day lives. And so as I started to reflect on what was the mindset that helped me become a hero in my own life, where people saw that in me, the three principles that I teach are number one, to accept responsibility, yeah. um, recognize that we may not be responsible for what's happened in our life, but we're always responsible for what we do about it. Second, take things one step at a time, whatever massive goal we have in our life, it's all achieved by taking small baby steps. I didn't learn how to walk in one giant leap. It was one toe, then another toe. 
and then three toes and then three more toes. And the third, the third principle is just never give up because there's been so many times along the way, especially way back when I felt like doing what my dad did, but had, if I had thrown in the towel, when I felt like that, I would have never discovered Paris sport. I would have never had this opportunity to inspire so many other people. I never would have seen what possibilities exist in our life, living with a disability. And it takes each of us applying and adopting that mindset. What I like to call a hero mindset every single day to show up and become a hero in our own movie. Oh my gosh, Kevin. Uh, you're like, you've got me on the edge of my seat and I have a thousand things that I want to follow up with and it's time for a commercial break. You're <laughs> such a tease. So listeners, please stay tuned. I am here with Kevin Rempel, team builder extraordinaire, Paralympic sledge hockey extraordinaire. I am Unstoppable Tracy with the Your Today show on Halton TV on TDC. Are you currently on ODSP? If you're interested in social media marketing, TV production, podcasting, or getting off assistance, please contact Jay Stoyan at 647-339-6847 or Jay at the disabilitychannel.ca. The Disability Channel, showcasing ability. Hi, I'm Christopher Guzek from the Disability Channel. And we support persons with disabilities and veterans in media in conjunction with the Ontario government and our employment programs. Welcome back from the break, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. And we are on TDC, your TV channel in Halton region with the extraordinary Kevin Rempel. Some of you know him as Paralympic sledge hockey superstar. Many of you know him as the ongoing legend, just Kevin Rempel, that's doing breakthroughs for your teams and also massive advocate for the importance of parasport and the importance of parasport for all of us with disabilities that are listening today and for the world to realize that breakthroughs come from the qualities that are completely transferable for all of you. So for those of you who grabbed a pen on the break, Kevin, will you very quickly recap the three variables that make a superhero were? Yeah, the the three principles of the hero mindset. Number one, we must accept responsibility. Yes, and those are the superstar follow-up. and, and just before that, you also had three very big courage. What were the definitions of the super, of a hero? No, so we're, ju- we're jumping ahead here. So no, yep. the, the hero mindset has three principles. Okay. Accept responsibility, take things one step at a time and never give up. So those yep. three principles make up the hero mindset to become a hero in our own movie. Yes, because now, they're rooted in what you learned. You learned that a hero has, and you mentioned courage, and you mentioned some of those yeah, other so, variables. Yeah, so we can easily project an idea of what a hero is, but my, mm-hmm. I literally just went to the dictionary. If you look up the definition of a hero in the dictionary, yeah, it's a person who's either admired or idealized for courage, outstanding achievements, or noble qualities. All of which Kevin has, folks. A but all, all of which everyone can also live in their own life. Yes. That's, that's, the, that's the message. The lean, on. lean on courage and noble qualities. Leave out the achievements piece. Like, how can you exemplify courage in your day-to-day life? What noble qualities do you admire in others that you can also live? Like, it doesn't have to be all three, but when we recognize that's what makes up those hero qualities, those hero tendencies, that's how we can start to live that. Yes. And, and that's what's amazing and phenomenal about Kevin's message is Kevin's not saying I'm inspirational. Kevin's saying you are inspirational. You follow these steps. You're going to be just as superhero as Kevin, as Tracy, as you are already as great leaders. You just, got, just keep asking yourself too, what is something simple you can improve on every day? It doesn't mean that we all have to go to, 
here, here's the question. We may not all be looking to go to the Olympics and reach the podium, but ask yourself the question, what's your podium? Yeah. Yeah. It could be their children. It could it be could, a promotion. It, exactly. It could be just simply finding a job, living with a disability. It's hard to get a job sometimes. So maybe it's finding employment. Maybe it's gaining independence. You know, maybe, maybe it's lear like learning a new skill set, being able to like function differently with whatever that disability that you have is. Yeah. Even your own journey going from chair to walking again took some extraordinary willpower to keep working those muscles. Yeah, it's repetition. Like, you know, how, how do you achieve excellence is through by doing um, small things very well over a long period of time, like Orton. Keith Cunningham quote, he said, like, ordinary actions consistently done create extraordinary results. And, and you're receiving extraordinary results in your speaker world. You went from high performance athlete to high performance speaker for folks. So will you let some folks know a little bit about what you're doing today and, and what's your world look like the last couple of years? Yeah. So, I mean, the last uh, couple, like, since I finished playing with Team Canada in 2015, uh, full-time speaking, before that I was part-time. So full-time speaker, uh, deliver keynotes and workshops. And uh, in addition to that, now that uh, the way the world's reopening, I'm actually able to start to run my team building program again. I have what's called the uh, sled hockey experience. So I, bring, I focus on bringing able-bodied people on the ice to experience Paralympic sport and what it was like to live life with a disability. So uh, we run this program out of Toronto. Uh, I like to say, we're, we're here to get you butt down on the ice for a new perspective. And uh, <laughs> between speaking and sledge hockey team building, those are, those are my full-time gigs that keep me busy these days. Uh, Richard, and people are very lucky in the world to have you bringing that program out and about. Uh, you know, and so you talk about how to experience having a disability and it brings in that diversity and inclusion and equity piece that so many are looking to provide an awareness lens to. But you you also talk about that lived experience of trying something new and being a team. Can you elaborate a little bit more about what happens after people get their butts down on the ice? <laughs> yeah, you know, the... Um... The three areas that I like speaking on the most that I'm uh, most known for and best at is mental health, resilience, and change. Mm -hmm. And when we look at the world of uh, DNI and people with disabilities, like it is a broad, broad scope. Yeah. The one uh, common denominator that I like to focus on the most is managing change. Because whether you have a disability or not, we're constantly going through change. Some of us, of course, have grown up with a disability. Some of us acquired it later on in life, but either way, just navigating life through constant change is something we can all relate to. And so if it's hearing me speak and deliver the, the hero mindset to help you make that mindset shift, or if it's getting on the ice, but down from that new perspective, it's about recognizing, you know, what, you know, how do we think and why do we think a certain way and how can we choose to think differently about our situation because when you get on the ice as an example like i said most everyone are is able-bodied and we're bringing them there to give them that new perspective yeah and so how else do you have the opportunity like we can put on a blindfold and instantly feel like what it's like to experience being blind you can tape our hands to like experience what it's like to lose dexterity. And when we get into a sled, you lose a loss of your legs. And all of a sudden you have to think differently. Your, your mind is wanting to do something that your body will not allow. And so what people experience is a new understanding of others that increases empathy, that uh, helps you understand like your response to adversity, what your problem solving, skill, solving skills are like how you um, handle challenging moments of uh, where you need to exemplify resilience, what your patience is like, improve your communication amongst your team, and also how you will, if you will choose to step up as a leader and help guide others as they're navigating similar challenges to you are, to what you are. So that's, that's what I like to do the most is help people understand how to shift their mindset, how to navigate change, and whether that's through the keynotes or the 
workshops in the team building program, um, that's what they walk away with is that new perspective on life and people with disabilities. And themselves. Absolutely. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's about developing self-awareness. Yes. Like, if we can start to understand, like I said, how we think, why we think and how we want to think, this is how we start to take control back over our life and then start to move in the direction we want to go. Yes. You know, Ken Blanchard has a situational leadership model. And, you know, many of us, when we try something new, there is a enthusiastic beginner to it. And we don't actually get to self-reliant high achiever, whether it's a business skill or a life skill or a generating conversation with someone we care about skill in the workplace or in the family or in the neighborhood until we get through that disillusioned learner. And, and often people equate that to, oh, a struggle a person with a disability must have. But we are all disillusioned learners. And particularly in this pandemic, we've become, we say, able-bodied people on the ice. but. Um, a majority of those folks have all been impacted, not with maybe official title invisible disability, but certainly an invisible impact that we're all getting through change in the entire world. So I would love our listeners, please stay tuned because this is what I'm going to revisit with Kevin after the break. We are watching Kevin Rempel on TDC on your TV with the Halton Region Today Show. And I'm Unstoppable Tracy. Please stay tuned for right after these messages. We'll be right back. All about inclusion and really giving everyone a fair say. Welcome to the Today Show. This is our flagship show. I am Unstoppable Tracy. I am Zach Damon. It is a pleasure to be here. I am excited. What is up? We have a great show today. Jay Stoyan here for the Disability Channel, the world's only inclusive channel for and by persons with disabilities. Get ready to be inspired, everyone. We have people watching from all over the world, but also all over Ontario. We also take a concerted attention in the veterans community. In moments of stress and trauma, we can get a hold of ourselves. To help make a difference for people with disabilities, to show people how to love themselves or their disability. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys having me, giving this platform for myself and other people with disabilities. Thank you so much, folks, for joining us for this episode of the Disability Channel of Detroit. Please tune in next time. exists inside each one of us and it's up to you to adopt the mindset to begin seeing that you have greatness within you and that the greater the challenge you are facing today the greater your story will be when i was a kid my dream was to make it to the x games to ride freestyle motocross every day i pursued that just by riding in the backyard field and when i was 23 years old i finally had the opportunity to perform my first jump show ever and it was like all all of my dreams came true I jumped in front of a crowd. I was in a magazine with my sponsor and I felt like I'd given him my all. It was the best I could be and that I could literally die happy. Two weeks later, I attended another event in Halliburton, Ontario. And as soon as I hit the ramp, the very first jump of the day, I knew something wasn't right. I flew 75 feet from steel to steel, landed without the motorcycle, broke my back, my pelvis and my ribs, and I was instantly paralyzed. There's a twist. My father was also paralyzed four years before I was. My dad not only became very depressed, but he developed a gambling addiction. And then seven weeks later, my dad took his own life. And in the moments where I felt like giving up as well, because I felt like doing the same thing as my dad, what I said to myself was, I don't want that to be the ending to my story. And the final chapter has not been written yet. Off 
the boat. They're not messing around. Canada right out of the gates. The tremble hits the iron. Going back to the day my dad fell from the tree, to me breaking my back, to becoming an elite athlete, when I look back at what has helped me succeed today, I believe there's three strong key principles that you can also take home and apply in your own life to be the hero of your own movie. Number one is to accept responsibility. It was incredible. All of his key points and key takeaways fit so well within our theme, um, but also it was just incredible hearing his own story because it's so relatable to everyone in life. You may not be responsible for what happens in your life, but you're always responsible for what you do about it. Becoming negative and cynical and pessimistic about the situation, you'll never see that other side. I tend to work with companies that are going through some degree of either internal or external change. You know, maybe the regulations have forced them to become more compliant and they're not used to that. Or internally, a lot of people have shifted around and there's new roles and responsibilities. Either way, there's always an opportunity there to look at that change and embrace it rather than be fearful as if it's something that's gonna defeat you and you have no way through that. But it's in that moment, that's your hero moment, when you ask yourself, how can I look at this situation differently? What do I need to do? Who do I need to call? You start taking some steps when you felt like giving up and all of a sudden your calendar does start filling up again. All of a sudden you do start getting some new bookings. You build some new relationships with some new partners and they start feeding you business and vice versa. And all of a sudden your sales are starting to turn back around. You're getting back up on top and that's the real movie. That can't happen. You can do that. But it starts in those moments when you feel like giving up. He's such an inspiration and I loved how real he was about his experience. And it's a really powerful story. Start to view the challenges that are in front of you, not as obstacles, but as opportunities. That no matter what happens to you, no matter where you are in your life, that you've always got another option. Accept responsibility for your own life. Stop playing the victim role. Start owning your life, the decisions you make, and where you want to go. And as soon as you do that, everything will change. Welcome back to TDC and your TV with the Halton Region Today Show. My name is Unstoppable Tracy and we have been with the extraordinary Kevin Rempel, a phenomenal para-sport known Paralympic athlete in sledge hockey and now has been an extraordinary keynote speaker and sledge hockey team builder for those of you that are working on workshops for diversity and working on workshops for resiliency, but especially coping and building those sk skills in your world for change. And, and Kevin was talking to us a, a, a little bit about how that change happens on the ice. And Kevin is such an extraordinary athlete and speaker and businessman that I know he strategizes. So we've talked about the past and we've talked about the present. So before we close off with the last couple minutes of the show that we've got, are you willing to kind of connect, you know, what changes or future is coming up in your life, Kevin, and any last messages you want to leave our listeners with? As far as like what my future holds, I definitely want to build the sledge hockey experience program, getting more people involved uh, because I ran it for a couple of years pre pandemic and, uh, with the world reopening, I know a lot of people will want to get together. I think there's a big opportunity to leverage the program uh, and, and build that as something that can operate on its own. Yeah. Uh, I'd like, would, I personally would like to get into more coaching. I, I do coach uh, some people individually or in groups already, but um, I find a lot of joy in that in addition to the keynotes and workshops with a lot of corporate audiences. Yeah. Um, that's, that's mostly it. <laughs> There's not Those nothing are else big significant. Goals. Yeah. And, and Kevin, like I know that I see you almost weekly, at least monthly, because I am on your list and I get to see and learn more about your coming coaching or your coming goals or opportunities where people can join in or give it a try. But most of all, just 
fill my soul with little golden nuggets that end up being really great constant reminders because it's not about being that one time it's about that ongoing connection so how do people stay in your life how do people stay in touch how do people find you to book a session yeah the best way to stay in touch is uh, i tried to make it simple so kevin Rempel.com is my website. That's where you can check out the blog articles or at Kevin Rempel on social. And uh, if you're interested in playing sledge hockey, just play sledgehockey.com. Like that's the simplest way to go. It's fabulous. You know, the, the, the kiss simple, the kiss principle, keep it simple. Savvy, yeah. sassy, superstar, superheroes. We're avoiding the original S meaning. Keep it simple, superheroes. So there you go. <laughs> so any last parting messages for our fabulous superheroes and, and they don't know it necessarily, but now they do that they can be superheroes, a word of wisdom so that they walk away ready to reach out to you and ready to just face today in an extraordinary way. You know, uh, basically like when I acquired my disability, uh, even though my dad had one and acquired his four years before I was. Yeah. As I mentioned, there was, there was several years before I started to see the path. And so my, my final message for everyone listening today is that know you are stronger than you think and that the, that the challenges you're going through today are preparing you for something greater than you can currently possibly imagine, but you must keep going. Yes. Yes. Keep going and, and pop your name in Kevin Rempel's website so that he helps you keep going. And that you have a little bit of Kevin with you on an ongoing basis. Kevin, I'm so lucky to call you a friend and an ally. And thank you so much for joining us today on TDC, your TV, Halton Region Today Show. Thank you, Tracy. Thanks for having me on. See you, everyone. Stay unstoppable, world. Keep on going with Kevin Rempel and Unstoppable Tracy on your TV, Halton Region Today Show.